ASTM F1002 is a standard performance for specification of protective clothing and materials for use by workers exposed to molten metal substances. It requires testing the fabric or fabric system to ASTM F955. This is the standard test method for evaluating heat transfer through materials for protective clothing upon contact with molten substances. The ASTM F955 standard specifies one kilogram or 2.2 pounds of molten metal to be poured from a height of 305 millimeters. The sample is placed on an inclined board base that's 70 degrees horizontal to the pour and the fabric system is in contact with two copper calorimeters embedded in the insulating board. Typically, this testing is done with a cotton t-shirt between the fabric and the sensor to replicate a work uniform and for indication of performance. The temperature rise is compared to the stole curve and reported as total energy passed through the sample. Other results are also determined after a visual examination of subjective criteria, break open, charring, dripping, embrittlement, ignition, melting, shrinkage, and substance adhesions to test material, such as the number of adhesions, the size of the adhesions, and a location in relation to the sensor disk. The standard provides a scale of one to five to rate sticking or adhesions, charring, shrinkage, and break open. This scale is provided in Annex A. The standard requires specific pour temperatures for the metals that are typically higher than the specific metal's melting temperature to assure a proper pour. Aluminum, copper, and iron are included in the standard. Brass, bronze, and other materials also can have te pour temperatures that can be used in testing. The testing process begins with the technicians safely bringing the test metal to the proper temperature. Test technicians must wear proper PPE while doing the testing. The test operator then takes the crucible and places it in the test stand. This test stand is calibrated to pour at the proper rate and then pours the test metal onto the sample which is placed on the sample board. Typically, every test video is recorded to document the materials, the pour, and the visual results which are apparent in the testing process. After all the samples are tested, a report is issued. This report will contain the information required in the standard and other observations of the testing operators. The level of shrinkage, charring, adherence, and break open are typically shown both numerically and photographically. And most reports include a video of each pour. For more information on your testing to standards related to ASTM F1002, like ASTM 955, Contact us at arcware.com, a division of Connectrix.